It's time to get back to action. Let's throw it to our ringside announcer, Dean Michael. So, Rob, you were saying the look, you know, part of that look, we we'll refer to that as the eye test, as you pass the eye test. A lot of the bigger organizations actually look at the build of a fighter, and it's not just so, hey, does he look good? Can we sell him? It's, is he fighting at the right, right weight class? Yep. You know, where is he at? Like I was talking earlier with Harry with Austin Hoop. Austin, in all honesty, could probably make 115 if he really dedicated himself, and he would see that the uh, table would be completely flipped. Yeah, the problem with that might be the fact he's not going to find hardly any fights. You know yeah, that's I mean? the so issue. That, that's a difficult part of that. You know, on that on that fall right there, um, he can whip back. Look like he hurt his arm. Really? Yeah. He he landed hard, and it was his left arm. Yeah, we'll have to watch that here as this mm -hmm. fight unfolds. Do you think it looked like he hyperextended it? Or? Uh, I don't know. I just think he, you know, just kind of felt a little weird. A good little side kick right there. Johnson just happy to throw in some leg well, kicks. And it looks like he's, he's just kind of waiting to counter. You know, he certainly doesn't want to lead. And, and uh, be careful keeping those hands down so low. So ooh, he took a big right hand right there. Didn't seem to bother him as much as I thought it would. Yeah, someone's going to have to take the lead here. You know, uh, Whitbeck, obviously, you know, he's just kind of feeling him out, getting his range, getting his distance. Yeah, Whitbeck showing the hands. And he's got to be a little careful. He's keeping his, his, his hands open, his kind of fingers out. I know they went over that in the referee's uh, meeting about making sure you're not poking the other guy in the eye. Yeah, and if you look at, like, the eyes of Keegan as well, like he's, he's super focused, you know. He's, uh, he's dialed in is what they, would, what they would say. But, you know, he's also kind of not dictating the pace of the fight. He's kind of letting the fight kind of breathe. And I'm not sure you want to do that with a guy like Johnson. There seems to be a little bit of a size difference between the two of them. Yeah, I, I, I'd like to see him kind of pushing the pace right Yeah, now. absolutely. You know, don't you know, fight off your heels. Fight, fight off your tip, yeah. tips your toes. You're going to see him pushing Johnson back right there. You know, as I mentioned earlier, though, when he, you know, that wake-up call going pro, he almost, he almost seems a little more measured maybe. I think I was there for that. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, you got to push through, though. You know, you want to do this game. It's, it's not nice, man. The fight game, it, it's not a nice place. And like you said, that. That call might have been something. You, you, you do have to make sure you don't go in there with reckless abandonment sometimes. You think you can go out there and dominate people. I'm bigger, I'm stronger. Everybody can hit pretty hard. If they hit you in the right spot, they're right. going to hurt you. So what he's trying to do is, what Keegan's trying to do is, he's trying to get Johnson to commit on a forward movement outside of a kick yep. so he can counter. He's having issues setting that trap right. So he's got to start looking at, at, at Johnson's movements, kind of seeing where he throws punches, and try to, whatever he's doing body-wise, mimic it, and then just capitalize on it. He's got to start setting traps. You know, I think Sean Johnson's doing a good job of not falling into his trap, though. I know he, he's waiting for him to come yeah, forward. Yeah, like, no, Johnson's. How you? Yeah, Johnson's real comfortable sitting on a, sitting on his heels, and that's when you do that, you got to make him a little uncomfortable in order to get what you want out of it. Because this right here, like I, I know he gets not good at it. Yeah, well, no. I, I feel like when he does come in, he needs to make sure he comes in behind something and then explodes. And hide he puts it. Puts combinations yep. together against Johnson. That's 
that's the way to beat somebody like that. You come in behind something, some jabs, heavy punch, heavy kick, and then you unload with a lot of uh, with a barrage. He's just trying to one punch, one kick at a time, and that's, that just makes yeah. for a slow paced fight. Yeah, see, like he, he's rushing with the one punch, but like you said, Chris, he's got to set up the jab. There we go. Great. Now, now insert yourself. He's got to insert himself. Johnson felt that one. You see him bounce, he bounce like that. You're like, okay, okay. <laughs> got the crowd fired up. Yeah, well, he's gonna yeah, these leg kicks. He's, he's gonna have to figure out something after he throws a leg kick. You know, okay. Ooh. He's gonna have to follow it up with a punch. He's, he's gonna have to figure it out. A takedown. Yeah, he's, gonna, he's gonna have to figure it out. An, yeah, I, I tend to think of the, the leg kicks as a lot more like a feeling out process when it comes almost like a, a, a jab in a boxing match. And they're, and they're still kind of throwing those this late in the round. You'd like to see them open up a little bit more. Yeah, they're, they're committing to an exchange. And when you commit to an exchange, it's more than two punches. And, you know, you call it a combination, but you gotta commit to an exchange at some point and commit to the actual uh, encounter. Oh, man, he, he's missed twice with that front snap kick to the yeah. face. He lands that, it's going to be ugly. Yeah, he, but, he, he did land a good jumping kick earlier that was nice. You know, I, I, I care. If I'm Keegan, I'm looking where he dips. Like, where does Johnson dip to? Is he exactly. going to the same spot? Is yeah. he going to the same spot? And throw your punches there. And, and, and that is the beauty of when you're watching a lot of boxing matches, like the first few rounds of a high-level boxing match, it looks kind of boring sometimes. Like, they're not doing much. Uh, no, they're doing a lot. Yeah, they're, they're digesting the guy, information. They're, when yep. they faint the right hand, what does the guy do? If he always yeah. bobs down, they're going to faint that left. Your rain has left, been left, 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 left. Location. And that's what you like to see from, from the professional level right here. You want to see Keegan trying to figure out exactly what Son Johnson's doing as he's throwing these kicks, as he's throwing these faints. I think clearly Keegan probably won round one right you know I mean, it, it wasn't not, impressive going out on a limb. yeah I mean it wasn't impressive and it's on his end but like what Chris was saying he's digesting information you know he's gathering Intel yep. um, and uh, right now the cornerman kind of got a I mean there's no need for urgency but you know if you want to be happy with the fight after you watch it you, you're gonna have to whatever you digested whatever information you took in you know now now you're gonna have to act on it yeah you know, I mean it's important to, to, to exert a little bit of safety, but you don't want to put too much safety out there. You have to go out there and, and put yourself in a little bit of danger in order to, to get what you want sometimes. All right, so they're complaining about water on the ground, but. Once again, Sean Johnson's very relaxed over there. Yeah, he's been in there a few times, you can tell. I think he's got about 10, 10 pro fights, so. He's been in there a little bit. Oh, see, there it is. And you see him stepping up. There it is. There's your combinations, okay? That's what he needs to do. And notice when he did that, Johnson wasn't able to fire back. No, no. And I can tell you another thing. When, when he's finishing up with the combinations, Keegan's going to tuck his chin a little bit better so he doesn't get caught on the end of one of those. 100% he was uh, kind of exposed right there, yep. had his head straight up. So, so in essence, like if you throw a large combination like that, after you finish, we refer to that as a window. And that's the opportunity for your opponent to throw. And if they catch that window when it's open, you can, you're, I mean, you're going to get tagged up a little bit. We're, you know, we're having a fight here. Wow. But if you tuck your chin and do it as you're supposed to do, it's, it's not, it's not as large of an opening. You know, it's hard sometimes people start throwing punches and they kind of put their head up. It's almost like they're looking down, like, look what I did. That's the time you always got to tuck that chin down, bite yep. down the mouthpiece. Yep. Be ready to throw your punches, but be ready to get out of there. You Thanks. don't want to sit in front of a guy, pick an angle, get out to a side. Yeah, King is opening up now, though. He's, he's doing what it is we had talked about uh -huh. previously. Yeah. You know, to this uh, round starting. He's definitely the aggressor so far in this fight. Yes. There it is. Johnson. And it takes it to the top. Ground. There we go. Now, first time we've seen some groundwork going on here. Well, I think for Johnson, this is probably a good decision just because he wasn't wasn't winning the stand up. Yeah. yeah Keegan's going, going for a triangle. He's going for right now. He's pulling his head down. He's got to get that leg. He's got to get it behind the knee. He's got to get the foot. Johnson doing a good job of not letting that happen though. He knows exactly what's going on in this position. You know, if I'm Keegan, I'm trying to swing over to that arm bar. Yeah. Oh, now oh he's, he's locked. locked. Triangle in deeper though. Pull that head down. He needs to get out to the side though. It's going to be very hard to finish him straight on. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's almost got him. Yeah, yeah. there he is. Yeah. 
Nice finish by Keegan Whitback. You know, Rob, like how you had mentioned, you know, he uh, he ran into some uh, adversity his last fight. This is kind of like a racehorse. You know, you, you got to get their confidence back up, and fights like this are good for you. You know, you can kind of watch it and see what you're doing. He's got enough time in there to where, you know, he saw his combinations, where he can tighten up. You know, I mean, Keegan can tighten up a little bit. You know, he's certainly got the look. He's a good fighter. Yep. But, you know, to be a great fighter, you got to critique yourself. And that's what he's going to have to do. Like you said, maybe tugging the chin, uh, do a, a, a few things like that that are small things, but they're huge things when you get caught. Well, when he takes risks, they're, I mean, they're, they're highlight reel risks. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's like you get tagged, you know, at the end of any of those punches, there's, there's problems. All right, let's throw it to Dean Michael. Keegan Whitbeck with the win in his young pro MMA career.